Hello, everyone. A big welcome from Blue Origin. We're getting ready for New Shepard's ninth mission to space. The clock is at T minus 16 minutes and 40 seconds to go until liftoff. Uh, this is not actually the first time that we've done an escape test on New Shepard. Uh, October of 2012, we did a pad escape test where we simulated a failure on the pad, then fired the escape motor that's 70,000 pounds of thrust. It's a solid rocket motor. It fires, and then as soon as it has completely burned out there, then we uh, release the drogues and then the mains. Completely successful test back in October of 2012. We followed this up in October of 2016 where we tested the solid rocket motor, the escape motor uh, in flight at max Q, when it was the, which is basically the most stressful aerodynamic point uh, uh, in the flight for the rocket. Again, perfect test. The capsule came back down softly under the parachutes. Additionally, we actually recovered the booster. We weren't expecting it because that's not exactly what it's designed for, uh, but we brought back the booster and now she is sitting pretty uh, in retirement in Florida at Cape Canaveral in our rocket factory. Now, a big difference between those tests and today, we're gonna have Mannequin Skywalker on board today. There he is. He's going up for his third flight to space. He will be collecting some very important astronaut data for us that we're going to be crunching. There we go. He looks like he's, he's all chilled out, relaxed in his reclined seat there. Little does he know we've got a pretty intense day in store for him. All right, thanks everybody for joining us live for New Shepard's ninth mission to space. This is actually going to be the third time that this rocket and capsule have flown to space, but it's the ninth mission uh, in the whole entire test program. T minus one minute and 40 seconds to go. The gantry is retracting. There go the fin checks. There goes the engine gimbal check. Man, you can feel the excitement down here in Texas. At this point, let's turn it over to Mission Control. Get ready for an exciting ride, Mannequin Skywalker. T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4. Command engine start. 2, 1. baby go a beautiful liftoff of our new shepherd rocket here from west texas listen to that be3 engine roar you can follow along as she gains speed up to space in your top right corner of your screen bottom left follow along with the altimeter you may have seen we started about 3600 3700 feet that's our altitude down here at our west texas launch site 90,000 feet and climbing. Thank you again for joining us for this live test of our new Shepard rocket. We are within seconds of this exciting escape test. We'll be firing the escape motor in the crew capsule about 20 seconds after separation of the capsule from the booster. There goes the escape motor. The crew capsule has blasted away from the booster as planned. Let's see how the reaction control system on the base of the capsule reacts. We want to stabilize the capsule prior to it re-entering the atmosphere for a nice smooth landing back here home. All right, the next step here, the drag brakes are going to deploy. You'll see the speed of the booster reduced dramatically and that is before the engine restarts for a nice soft landing.
touchdown. Welcome back. That is the third trip to space and back for that rocket. Just another day at the office. All right, and there is the crew capsule. The drogues have come out. Excellent sign. There go the mains. Slightly reefed, and they will go to full inflation. Gorgeous. And look how stable the capsule is after such an extreme event up there in space. Mannequin is ready to come home. He probably peaked at about 10 Gs or so, but you know what? That is well within what humans can, uh, can take, especially for such a short spurt of time and in those reclined seats. It's just important that we bring the astronauts home safely. 500 feet. And touchdown. Absolutely beautiful. Welcome home, New Shepard. What a test today. Wow.